So what is this game? This game is Dice Throne Season 1 Rerolled Trench vs Ninja. This game's by Roxley Games. It's very cool. We have played a lot of Dice Throne. But for people who don't know about it, for about $40, is this for you? Is this just a pimped up Yetzi? Well, watch this video to find out. And I'm John. Together we'll and, level up the lead. And also, we're doing this one, the first one, small box. Dice Phone Season 1 Reworld Battle for Trent vs. Ninja. That's right, so today we're unboxing Dice Thrones Trent vs. Ninja. So, this channel is all about covering games and components, especially miniatures related, for people who are really into board games. If you're gonna spend your time and money, well, you might as well spend things on the things that gives you the most joy. And of course your time and money is precious, so we hope we can help you there. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Battle 4. Season 1 Vivo Dice Phone Trend versus Ninja. Okay. Wow, so what have we got here? Right. Oh, so a bit of advertising here. We've got Dice Throne Reroll Season 1. Season 2, and we had most of these. And of course we also have, okay, there's not in here, we've got Dice Throne Adventures as well. Tokens. Tokens. What are these tokens? Can I have a look? Two little spirits. Okay, cool. Some barbed wire. I don't know what that Spab is. Vine. Spab vine. We haven't seen these before. That, those are... What are they? These are smoke bombs. Wow, can you see this Levi? Look at this. Look at that. That's just a box art. So inside the letter there's a box. Whoa, as you can see. Um Ninja versus Trent. Yep, Ninja versus Trent. How cool is that? Now what else you got there, Levi? I've got the rule book. You've got the rule book. It's a bit different to se season two. But this one is season one we rolled. Yeah. So it's a bit different. Yeah. It's in the other one. Yeah. Well, Let's we... get into it. Yeah. First, to end, because it's on the left of the world. <laughs> to the end. Woe, woe to you who awakens the forest itself. Wait, the forest. You and a chosen teammate gain wellspring. Go five spirits. Infect Bob Twine, then you'll 10 damage. Well, that's pretty cool. Undefender, mind you. Alright, what else is in here? Okay, character board. Great. We the... We... A bit of combat. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky to spin since it's new. <laughs> that is true. It's, this oh. is a bit tricky to it's just how it's new. Look at these dice. These are cooler than the original ones. Yeah? You can see like... Grains of wood there. Oh well, wow. Like Even though these, these are logs. We happen to have Dice Throne Season 2, Samurai vs. Gunslinger. It was our first Dice Throne game. Yeah. Battle 1. Now, I just want to take this out so we can compare. So, this is the Season 2 Battle 1 dice. This is the Season what? 1 Reroll dice. That looks way cooler, doesn't it? Yeah. Better quality, better boards. I've heard about the trench, but I never played it. He looks pretty cool. Branches. Bio. The Trent is the most elder of contenders. He decided he could no longer be a stick in the mud, weeping over willows. He chose to branch out, leafing his trinkets behind with a sappy goodbye. <laughs> the puns here is crazy. Awesome. He dug deep, packed his trunk, sprued himself up and begun lumbering over closer to the true root of the problem, the Mad King. So, in Dice Throne, uh, you've got main face cards, so you can play to turn time of battle. You've got instant actions, and then you've got class specific roll face action cards, and then upgrade cards are separated into green and typically Typically green and white cards, where the white cards go into one of these slots as your main action. So now the cool thing here is, 
In the corner of a card, there's a word Trent. Yeah, so this tells us this is a Trent card. So in case, if you were playing with a whole bunch of cards, you get them mixed up. In the Ninja deck, it also starts with Ninja. So a four letter, yeah, Ninja card. So you can never get them mixed up. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. Nin, nin, nin. Ah, ha, ha, So we sold the way poison. Pretty cool. Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu. You can stack three of these. After attacking, a player with this token may spend it to roll one dice. On a run to three, one damage. So 50% chance, one damage. And then uh, four to five, two damage. And then on the six, you add either two damage or inflict delay poison. Or make your attack undefendable. Ah, okay, okay. When you roll a six, you can choose to either add two damage, inflict delay poison, or make your attack undefendable. Pretty cool. Good. That's pretty cool. Now that we've unboxed this, cool. let's say you have a friend you want to introduce Dice Throne to. How would you tell them what is Dice Throne? To defeat your opponents. So, for example, the ninja starts with 50 health, and you can represent it using the dial that comes with the game 50. So, if we were playing each other, we will take turns into attacking each other, and the aim is to reduce each other's health from 50 to down zero. to. Zero. That's right. So as we go, this dial would slowly go from 50 to zero. So how this game works is you get to roll your set of dice up to three times. And every time when you roll, you can check your results and then choose to keep what you want and re-roll the rest. So what you want to try to do here is you want to match the specific patterns on your board because they all do something differently. So for example, Slash is a simple one. That's when you have five three of these, damage. that's five damage. When you have got five of these, you do seven damage. And then of course the ultimate, which does the most, is the hardest to get versus the slash here is the easiest to get. Now how does it work? Well it's all probability, right? Because these these sword dice for the ninja, three out of six chance you'll get one of these symbols. Two out of six chance you'll get these symbols. The shuriken symbol and then for the mask it's one out of six that you get this so the more powerful it is the more risky and then the less powerful less risky and more likely to get it let's say i'm i'm taking my turn so i roll and i see four four five one three well shuriken shurikens okay I want to use this shuriken walk the line okay that's what i'm going but for you need four so i'm going to take a risk and try to get another shuriken out of these two dice. So I re-roll this one. Fail. And I try to re-roll again. And voila! I have got what I wanted. Walk the line. That's right. Roll two dice and deal damage equal to the total roll value. If the final roll value is six or less, this attack becomes undefendable. Absolutely right. Now let's talk about how these cards work. So for example, if I had a six, 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 and a six, just an example. If I roll this again, obviously what I want to do is to use my ultimate skill, which is five sixes, the hardest combination to get. Assassinate! Fail, all right? Now, because I can roll my dice up to three times, so let's assume this is my third roll. I roll three. So what I can, I can do is I can use one combat point, which is this. I'm gonna to change to one. A chosen player may roll one additional attempt. So I'm gonna try and roll this. I got a five, it's still none I want, so I can use another type of card, which is for example, so wild. It says, change the value of any dice. So that means I can change this five to a six. And then I've got ultimate. If it inflicts the weight poison on two chosen opponents, maybe the same opponent, get smoke bomb, they will turn damage. That's right. Now, this game is not hard to learn because Levi, you're pretty good at this game. Yeah. You beat me and Mama a lot. Yeah. Even if we're not going easy, Levi can beat us, hands down. He's good at this. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would say this game is very innovative because it's, it's sure, Yahtzee is not new, but how they take this yeah. dice mechanic, that's definitely new. It's very polished in the sense that it's a lot of fun. All the characters are completely different, so you get a lot of 
replayability, which is another key thing. And then I would say one last thing is, it's quite addictive because I think collectively, we've probably spent um, more than 100 hours on Die Storm. That's not an exaggeration because sometimes we would play five games and that's like a day. And we play this a lot because it's easy to play, it's quick, it's easy to get into. Um, Usually I play this with my mama. And sometimes with games, I play a few, I might, I will have to That's right. And another cool thing with this game is you can buy a lot of characters, all right? So they're all different. I like this one because it's Ninja and Trent, that they're always cool. But you know, there's, there's angels and vampires and there's plenty of stuff that you can buy to make your game more replayable and more addictive and fun. Um, now, of course, this video was all about Trent versus Ninja. So Levi, what do you think of this game? Two thumbs! I would give this two thumbs as well because for the price and how much fun, how much time you get to spend on it and how addictive and replayable it is, definitely two thumbs up. Two thumbs. I hope you guys found this video useful and had a bit of fun. Now, if you like what you see, you probably should check out our other video which is on Die Strong Adventure and I'll play through in one of these boxes so you can get a feel of what the game is like and the whole universe of Die Strong. Very cool. That was our first video, if you remember. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. See bye, -bye. you later. See you later. Oh, wait, are you gonna dance? And foot and if uh, if and if the opponent attacks her with an ultimate that was thirteen damage, can never block it. Thirteen. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Huh? 50 minus 13 is 47. I'm 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 just learning to see if my maths. It's kind of learning to make mistakes. That <laughs> gold, so true.